thank you as we worship and adore you. We magnify you. We lift you up. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praise. We thank you, Hubba Father. We thank you, Hubba Father. We thank you, Hubba Father. Hear the cry of your people. Hear the cry of your people. Hear the cry of your people. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus will set us free. The blood of Jesus is enough. The blood of Jesus is enough. The blood of Jesus is enough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do we have a witness that the blood of Jesus is enough? Hallelujah. We thank you for every testimony. Hallelujah. And as we get ready to go into prayer, we want to usher in the presence of God, conquering angels. God's holy angels. God ministering angels, comforting angels, healing angels. Father, we thank you. And we are stretched out wide. We magnify you, Father. And we glorify you, Father. So with our hearts and mind clear, as we go to the throne of grace. <laughs> because we are not worthy. But because of the blood of Jesus that made us worthy, we can come to the Father. He don't see our sins. He see the blood of Jesus. Because we have been washed and made as white as snow. So Father, we thank you for forgiveness of our sins on today. Cleanse them as filthy rags, hallelujah. Wash them, purge them, and make them white as snow. Father, we love you, Father, because you are the Almighty. You are the all-powerful. You are above. You are not beneath, Lord Jesus. We thank you that you are King of kings, Lord of lords, the Rose of Sharon. We thank you that you are our chief and commander. We thank you that you are omnipotent, omnipresent, and omniscient. And Father, where the Spirit of God is, there is liberty, there is unity, there is strength of Father. Deliver us up today, hallelujah. Rid of us, rid of, rid us up of any impurities, any infirmities, because you said by your stripes, we are already healed. Help us to know who we are in Christ. Help us to know that we are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. Weapons may form, but shall not prosper, Father. And we thank you that we are more than conquerors. So, Father, we look to you from whence cometh our help. For help cometh from you, dear God. Oh, Our help cometh from you, dear God. Our help cometh from you, dear God. We are nothing but you are everything. You are the all-sufficient wise God. And for that we give you glory. Lord Jesus, we pray for everyone in the Cayman Islands. We pray for everyone in Jamaica right now. As Hurricane Fiona hits the island, Lord, we thank you for protection in advance. We are praising you on credit on today that you will keep them from all hurt, harm, and danger. Lord, bless them, Lord Jesus. Keep everyone covered, hallelujah. Keep the lights on, hallelujah. Give them clean water over there, hallelujah. Lord Jesus, and whoever may be scared and panicking, Lord, you said to cast our cares on you because you care for us. So Lord, remove every anxiety, every depression, every worry, every challenge, every opposition in the name of Jesus. Heal as you know how to heal. Deliver as you know how to deliver. Set free the captive, Father. Father, we pray for our first fruit community church family and all the viewers online. Hallelujah. Lord, if you just reach your hand and just give them one touch, Lord, you know our faith will make us whole. So, Father, 
faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So, Father, we look for you to work out the impossible because you are the immutable God. You are ever, you are never changing. And so, Father, we pray for our church family. Every sick and afflicted by the sound of my voice, hallelujah. It is not me, but it is the spirit that dwells in me. Father, give them comfort right now, Lord. Ushering your angels in their presence, hallelujah. Help them to feel your supernatural overflow. Lord Jesus, healing, wonder-working, miraculous power in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray, hallelujah, that you stop and block any harm, hurt, and danger for those who may be traveling here on today. Cover our pastor, hallelujah. Cover our first lady, hallelujah. Cover our children, hallelujah. The first family, hallelujah. Lord, as our pastor come and bring forth the word, hallelujah. We pray that it bring conviction to conversion. We pray that someone will be rescued from the pits of hell so we can populate heaven and we can plunder hell. So, Father, we pray that anyone, any foul spirit, spirit of doubt, Lord, you are not welcome here. You are free to go because where the Spirit of God is, there is liberty. So, Father, Remove every foul spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, you are not welcome here. We rebuke it and we put it under the hands of our feet. In the mighty name of Jesus, every divination, every principality, every spiritual wickedness in high places, I'm calling you out today. You are unblessed and you are not welcome here. In the mighty name of Jesus, pour down your anointing. Overflow on today. Overflow on today. Lord, use our natural and put your super on it and make it into a supernatural. Birth a testimony on today. Hallelujah. Lord, this nation needs you. This country needs you. Lord, help the church to unite. So we can win souls. Lord, help us to be hot or cold, but not lukewarm. Lord, help the church to be radical on fire. So a revival could break through in our souls. And so it could spread. We pray for every musician. Anoint them from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. Lord, expand on their gifts and talents. As they bring an usher in worship to you, dear God. We pray for our ministers, teachers, leaders, evangelists. Every man, every woman, every boy, every girl. Lord, we pray for our praise and worship as they come up. Father, use them to continue to keep the presence of the Holy Spirit here. In Jesus' name, have your way. And let God's people say hallelujah. 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 Come on, keep giving them a praise. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, lift up your voices. Hallelujah. Come on, give them a praise. Hallelujah. Think of his goodness and give him a praise. Hallelujah. Think of what he's done for you and give him a praise. Hallelujah. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we praise you. We lift you up. We magnify your holy name. You are worthy of all the praise. Yes, you are. You are worthy. You are worthy. I said my God is worthy. Hallelujah. Come on, thank him because he brought you this far. Hallelujah. And he's a God that never fails. Hallelujah. I said he's a God that never fails. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody said I could have been dead and gone, resting in my grave. But God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have another chance right now. I said we have another chance right now. Hallelujah. 
don't take it for granted don't take it for granted come on give him all give him all give him all give him all oh oh lord we thank you jesus lord we thank you jesus lord we praise your holy name thank you jesus thank you for your healing power thank you for your deliverance thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you thank you thank you lord yeah yeah yes hallelujah i don't know if you know the today but your praise is your weapon hallelujah your praise is your weapon and there's power in the name of jesus i said there's power in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah so the spirit of the lord is here today i said the spirit of the lord is here today i said the spirit of the lord is here today how do you know that the spirit of the lord is here you might be asking that question right now right how do you know what I feel him in my feet. Feeling in my feet. Feeling moving. Moving. All over me. All over me. Come on, let's sing that again. I feel him in my hands. Feeling in my hands. Hey, hey, hey. And I feel him in my feet. Feeling in my feet. Oh, I feel him moving. Feeling I feel them in my hands, feel them in my hands, feel them in my feet, feel them in my feet, feel them in my heart, feel them in my soul, feel them in my soul, feel them moving all over me, all over me. Let's do that again, let's do that again. I feel them in my hands, feel them in my hands, feel them in my feet, feel them in my feet, feel them in my heart. Feel them in my soul. Feel them in my soul. Feel them moving. All over me. All over me. No music. Let me hear you sing that. I feel them in my hands. Feel them in my feet. Feel them in my heart. Feel them in my soul. I feel them moving. Let's take it up. All over me. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We just wanted to give you a little shaking up hallelujah because you said that where the spirit of the lord is there is freedom hallelujah yes it is so we just wanted to shake you up a little bit hallelujah so at this time we have a surprise for you today at this time we're going to call before your front the first fruits community church choir i need you to give them a warm welcome as they come before your before you right now hallelujah the first fruits community church choir hallelujah amen continue to worship him how many have ever went outside in the morning and you walk in that grass and all that dew gets on your feet that's how I want the Lord to saturate me this morning. 
Do you want him to saturate your heart this morning? This song simply goes like the dew in the morning. May the Lord saturate you.
Come on, let's give them some praise. Come on, let's lift them up. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
you feel like praising him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> My God. Say praise you. Lift him up. Praise him. Lift him up. Praise him. Lift him up. Praise him. Lift him up. 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 Everybody clap your hands. Woo! Let's have church. That's how you get the Holy Ghost. Whoa, yeah, yeah. Say praise him, praise him, lift him up, lift him up, praise him, praise him, lift him up, praise him, lift him up, praise him, lift him up, let everything, let everything that had breath, that had breath. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, oh, praise him up, lift him up, praise him, lift him up, with your hands, lift him up, with the dance, lift him up, 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 yeah. We a whole choir this morning. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 Let's pray. You got to let it out. You got to say something because he's been so good. Lord, I thank you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Oh, that's how we magnify him. Hallelujah. Look at somebody say, I got to praise this morning. I got something to praise him for. I'm here. <laughs> Anybody got testimony? I'm here. Look at three people who testify. Say, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. The devil tried to stop me, but I'm here. The devil tried to hinder me, but I'm here. The devil tried to make me sick, but I'm here. The devil tried to confuse me, but I'm here. That is my testimony. I am here. If it was up to the enemy, you would have been gone. But I, I'm here. Woo! Hallelujah. Glory, 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 hallelujah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Come by here, Lord. Come by here. My brother needs you. Come by here. My sister needs you. Come by here. Oh, walk the candlestick, Lord. And come by here. I'm here, Lord. She's here, Lord. Then we need you in the midst, oh God. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Woo! Glory. What would happen if he, he walked into the room this morning? What would happen if he walked into your room this morning? What would happen if he entered in this morning? What would happen before you leave here if he came here and blessed you this morning? Anybody feel the Spirit of God up in this house? And suddenly there came a sound from heaven 
as of a rushing mighty wind and it filled the whole place that they were in and they all not some but they were all filled somebody shout to the Lord say fill me Lord fill me with the Holy Ghost fill me with your Holy Spirit fill me with the power of God fill me with the anointing that makes a difference hallelujah Oh, yes, sir. Thank you. Glory. 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 Some of you had a trying week. Some of you been through some fire this week, I hear. I hear the Lord saying the fire you were in hasn't singed you. It has not caused you to smell like the smoke that the three boys who were thrown in the furnace had the same testimony. You've been going through some hell. The Lord said, you don't even look like what you've been through. He's trying to remind you just how good he's a keeper. That in the midst of your trial, you should look depressed. You should look broke down. You should look busted and disgusted. But God got you looking good this morning. God got you looking real good because you are a living testimony of the grace of God. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Whoa. Yes. Yes. Don't look nothing like what you've been through. I say in, I said through. You ain't in nothing, you're going through something. And it shall come to pass. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Can we put our hands together and give God a praise? Don't look nothing like, look at somebody that said, just because they, they didn't catch it. Look and say, you don't look nothing like what you've been through with your fine self, with your handsome looking self. Don't look nothing like what you've been through. Oh my God. I feel the Holy Ghost touching somebody right now. I feel like I got that one more time. You look nothing like what you're being through. Woo! Hey, hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You may be seated in the house of the Lord this morning. Welcome to First Fruits Community Church. Hallelujah, we are in a place as loving God and we are loving people this morning. We're so grateful that you are here. Praise the Lord for your neighbor. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord for the person sitting on your row. Whether it's all the way from Jamaica, man. With Papa Reed. Hallelujah. All the way from Jamaica, man. You don't, sir, you look nothing like what you've been through, sir. You look nothing like what you've been through. Oh, shit, hallelujah. Well, maybe you are all the way from the land of Israel this morning. Shalom, shalom. We welcome Chisholm and the Chisholm family back. Hallelujah to the ground of the Lord. He called me from the Garden of Gethsemane. <laughs> oh, man. I said, Dick, you called me from Israel? He said, not only that, but my feet are in the garden of Gethsemane. I'm like, man, don't start nothing, Dick. Don't start nothing, Dick. Maybe you came from Monk's Corner. Somerville. <laughs> Just as holy as Israel is. Because where the Lord is. Hallelujah. He's with us. And so we thank you for being here this morning. Amen. Any first time guests in the house, just raise your hand like this. First time on a Sunday morning. We don't want to recognize your presence. Amen. We love you, baby. And am I right? You're getting baptized this morning, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Anybody else getting baptized this morning? Oh, okay. We already got two people getting baptized. Now, if you want to join the party. See, if I was in the world and I heard there was a party going on, listen, you ain't got to tell me but one time, y'all. 
I had the before party, the during party, and the after party. So if you ain't in the party, you need to get in the party this morning. Oh, God, I feel like having church. But I ain't here to preach, Lord. Woo! I tried to break my record, man. I ain't do it. We thank God for all of you. Uh, just quick, quick announcements before we do say it. Can we praise God for the first lady this morning? First Lady Bellinger. Amen to my family, to the elders, ministers, deacons, all the leaders of this house. Amen. We celebrate them as well. Can we put our hands together for this choir? Come on up. I looked at my brother. I said, that sounds like a hundred voice choir to me, y'all. They only practice two, two days this week or this month. So, Brother Great was up there singing for the tenors. Come on, sir, with your blue looking sharp representing Joshua's army. <laughs> Listen, if you want to join that choir, man, you see the man right there, Minister DeWeese. He's our worship pastor. We, you can connect with him. You can join up. Uh, either the choir or the praise team. Amen. Wonderful job. Wonderful job. Now, <laughs> uh, just a couple of quick announcements, FYI's for you. I'm going to be out of town the whole week. I'm going to be up in Chi-Town, up in Chicago, Chirac, um, whatever you want to call it, Windy City. And I'm going to be there in Jesus' name. <laughs> Hallelujah. If it's Chirac, I'm bringing the Holy Ghost straight to the midst of the jungle. That's, that's, the, that's the concrete jungle, y'all. I ain't scared of nothing. Everybody said, you better stay in your hotel room. Nah, man. Shoot, if God lead me, I'm going. And then, and then them daughters say, let him lead you, pastor. But I'll be like, oh, he lead me. Everywhere I go, he lead me. Shucks, man. Shoot, I'm trying to say, get somebody soul saved while I'm up there on my job. Amen. Hallelujah. Can we praise God for our Sunday school? Amen. Anybody was in Sunday school this morning? Oh, y'all are fired up this morning. Boy, I know you're going to preach now. I'm trying to move. I ain't trying to preach before you, man. You know how it is when everybody scream out at the same time, make you want to go fool, ain't it? Man, Sunday school had a great adult class. Our young people had a class. Our junior and senior high had a class. So if you got children, make sure they're out here no matter what age. And adults, make sure you're coming out here and getting fed the word of God. It's different than Sunday morning preaching. It's where you get to soak up the word. You're being taught the word of God. Amen. So we want to make sure you're out there. Uh, I believe the teachers meeting, all Sunday school teachers are meeting next Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Amen? Amen. There'll be some food out here for you. Not to weigh you down, because you got to be on the same level you at today. Can't go back. That's called backslide. You got to stay the same. We're going to give you a little food and stuff. But then our, our uh, First Fruits Community Church board meeting uh, is going to be Sunday uh, afternoon, uh, next Sunday afternoon. So we'll, uh, the board will know exactly the time and the agenda amen um listen yeah yesterday who was out here yesterday for the family feud with father to father raise your hand i know it was a few of us amen but the church was actually packed out y'all there were so many people up in here just like i saw back in 1996 in my vision everybody from every ethnicity was in here yesterday man and it was awesome to see in the men's ministry uh, we are partnering with Father to Father Incorporated, and uh, we are going to come alongside them. They are an organization that helps men either engage their children or re-engage their children so that they're in their children's life as they should be, right? And I was sharing my story, you know, with my daughter. I didn't get custody of her until she was 10. And I had some people kind of speak into my life because I was just getting on my feet, and I was struggling with child support and things of that sort, you know, but God brought me through and God gave me a testimony. I got full custody of my daughter when she was 10. Amen. Now she's singing on the praise team, saved, filled with the Holy Ghost, all that good stuff, you know. But I was able to be there in her life. But sometimes you just need somebody to come alongside as a man to help you out, you know, and give you advice. Or, so they, they don't just give advice. They get lawyers for child support cases. They, they give them everything you can imagine. So I want you to do a couple of things when you get a chance uh, today. Go follow Father to Father Incorporated on Facebook. Can y'all do that? Can y'all like their page for us? Can y'all do that? Same energy. Yeah. There we go. And then when we, when we do additional things alongside of them, let's just keep on supporting them and let's lift them up in prayer in Jesus' name. Amen? 
Amen. This afternoon, um, sis, uh, Lady Creola Washington, could somebody put a microphone in her hand? I would like to bring her up front for just a couple minutes. She's going to tell you what's going on this afternoon at 4 p.m. Amen? Let's put our hands together for Lady Washington in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. I just want to um, invite everyone here. I am the director of the Teacher Love Project. And today at 4 o'clock at the Circular Church downtown Charleston, I think it's 150 Meeden Street, we are actually having a concert, a musical concert for all teachers, um, staff, faculty of schools. We are gearing this towards teacher wellness, teacher morale, and a promised informed mindset. So this great concert is going to be geared towards that. You are in for a treat. It's, we have VIP passes for our teachers. The concert is free, and we are just asking everyone to please come and encourage our teachers. They're going through a lot of things now, and they need to be encouraged. The Project Love and the Teacher Love, we've joined together, and our uh, aim is to pray, encourage, love, one-on-one, -on -one, and communicate the love of the Lord Jesus Christ with our teachers. That's today, 4 o'clock at the Circular Church, downtown Charleston. Please come and just enjoy what God has planned for us. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Pastor Abraham. Amen, amen. Beautiful job, beautiful job. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We thank God for that. We're going to be there. I'm going to open up in prayer down there this afternoon in Jesus' name. Please come out if you can and uh, share it. The flyers are online, and we're going to text blast the flyer out. Student service is over, so if you, you get that flyer, you can share it online, even if you're not going, because maybe somebody else wants a good concert to go to and have a good time. Amen? Hey, man, y'all excited, man? Y'all excited as I am this morning? I feel, I, I feel like God's about to do something. I don't know what's going on, but something about to happen this morning. I feel it in the spirit. So we got a couple quick, real quick announcements. Um, the same speaker this morning, Elder Washington, will be teaching this Wednesday night. Since I'm going to be in Chicago, he's going to come here and deliver the word for us. So make sure you come out for prayer at 630. Don't forget to fast. Amen. <laughs> we got an amen. I knew it. One person fasting from 6 in the morning until 6 at night on Wednesday. Then we come together for prayer at 630 p.m. in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. It is offering time. Hallelujah. In the house of the Lord. Can we give glory to God? Amen. For an opportunity to be blessed. Yeah, this is a beautiful time in which we can thank the Lord uh, tangibly through our giving. And so with every soul standing this morning, amen, you can get your seed in your hand. Uh, there's a couple ways. I think everybody pretty much knows how to give. Um, but there's uh, offering envelopes in front of you if you have a tangible offering. If you're giving digitally, you can text FFCC to the number on the screen. And you'll get a link in your phone that's secure. And you can easily give your tithes and your offerings unto the house of the Lord, to the work of the ministry, in Jesus' name. Uh, we were talking about some things this morning, just some one-off conversations about things we want to do. Take a little bit of money, not a whole lot, but every time you give, we have more than enough, amen? So we want to just thank you in advance on behalf of Jesus Christ for sowing into the work of the Lord, for what he's doing. I mean, church is pretty packed this morning, isn't it? Pretty cool? Yeah, wait till, wait till next month. Y'all go ahead and get here early, make sure you get a seat. And then a month after that, some of us may have to be an overflow. In the month after that, we're going to have to knock a wall down or do something. I don't know. We're going to figure it out. Or maybe we go to two services on a Sunday. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But we are growing by the grace of God. And look at somebody say, the same grace is on me. So I'm growing too. Oh, in every aspect of my life, I'm growing as well. So when you get that seed in your hand, I want you to lift it up unto the Lord Jesus Christ. And I want you to ask God one question. And I want you to ask him this. Say, Father, will you pour out the spirit of grace on this seed? Father, we have presented our seeds to you this morning as seed sowers into the ministry, to the work of your kingdom, O oh God. And so we ask, Lord, that you pour out the spirit of grace upon the seed that we sow, that it might be effective in our sowing, that we might reap a harvest for your kingdom, and that we may even see a harvest in our own lives. Either way it goes, Lord, we're satisfied this morning to be able to give. Lord, God, it's not the amount, but it's the, the depth of the heart in which we give. We give cheerfully, Lord. We give thankfully. 
with a thankful spirit that you've kept us until this hour. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the church shout amen. You may be seated in the presence of our King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and I am going to uh, move right on out the way because Elder Tony Washington, who has traveled the world singing the gospel, being an evangelist via the Levitical priesthood uh, over in Italy and, and over in all, all of Europe and across the United States, this man of God has been all over the place for the work of the Lord, amen, and we are grateful, amen, to have him here with us, amen, in this house. Ella Washington, Lady Washington, are a great staple of this church, and we're so appreciative of them and their ministries and their gifts. And so all I need you to do is to give them the same support you give me every Sunday morning. How about that? Can everybody stand up and shout with a loud voice and give God a praise for Ella Washington this morning as it comes to deliver the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. just wanted to say right quick that the concert will be featuring the Wright family. If you all have heard them, they're awesome. So in the name of Jesus, Amen. Amen. Pastor Washington. Come on, let's give God praise. I need a little more juice. It's a little bit more juice. That's it. That's, that's E flat. That's e. All right. Now y'all don't sing, y'all don't sing me happy, but Come on, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go back. Come on, sir. Take it back. Deacon Chisholm, I gotta go back. Old right. and new landmark. Right. I remember when I was that musician and the saints got up. Yeah. Bishop Haywood. Mother Washington, all them old saints. See, see, y'all, 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 y'all can sit down for me. Just sit down. <laughs> and they would get up, slow hand clapping, and said, "Oh, just keep on praying. The Lord is now. Just keep on praying. Hear, hear your cry." The Lord has promised His word is true. Just keep on praying. Hear that say. Oh, keep on praying. Come on. The Lord is God. Just keep on praying. Hear hell your cry. The Lord has promised. His word is true. Just keep on praying. He'll answer you. Lord, don't stop praying. The Lord is mine. Come on, come on. Don't stop praying. Hear him. Hear me, you cry. Oh, Lord is promised. His word is true. Just keep on praying. Oh, in the midnight hour, the Lord is nigh. Let's wait now. In the midnight hour, hear him. Hear me, oh God. Oh, the Lord has promised. Oh, just keep on praying. He'll answer you. Oh, don't, don't stop 
back then but that song got you through yes. keep on praying the Lord is now honor to the spirit of Christ this great pastor of this house Pastor Abraham Bellinger First Lady Ty And I can tell everyone, everyone that's looking, I, I even tell people all over the world, tune in to First Fruit. Uh, you Italian people, bellissima, huh? Uh, join us. We're here. And I cannot forget, I was looking for my son and daughter, but my half is here. Don't stop praying. <laughs> Sister Creola, Dr. Creola, Washington. 43 years. Come a long way. And we're happy young little girl from North Carolina. Said, would you be mine? Would you be mine? Let me see. That, that's all right. I want, in a serious note, I would like to say you are the best thing that ever happened to me. We've been through, but we stood the test of time. Look at somebody said, don't give up. Hang on in there. Yeah, you see, Jesus is the best thing. See, you messing me up. That ever happened. Jesus is the best thing that ever happened. Jesus is the best thing that ever happened to me. I'm going to do a concert later. Let's talk. Come on, Jay. If anyone could ever come on, my life story. My life story. See, we going there. You my quote. You know whatever reason there might be. There, there might be. Words. I know that ever happened, you know, but I know Jesus, Jesus is the best thing that ever happened. Jesus is the best thing that ever happened. Jesus is the best thing that ever happened to me. We better move on. to do that concert here. How many know he's the best thing that ever happened? 
to me. My Lord, you done got me stirred up here. When I look back over my life, people counted you out. But how many know that God counted you in? That's because he is the best thing that ever happened to me. And you know what? People want to say, but how you, how did you do it? No, God did that. Travel all over the world. They want me in December. I say, I got to pray about it. See, you got that option now. See, I'm not all that excited of traveling. I mean, no, you got to ask God first. Let him lead you. Let him guide you into all truth. I want you to turn with me to Matthew 24, 4 through 5. And it's a serious subject. Because I look at the condition, the world, the people, and especially the church. We are living, we are in the last days. And let's hear the word of the Lord. Take heed that no one, everybody say no one, one. deceive you. For many will come in my name saying I am the Christ. And will, this is the powerful part, and will deceive many. Subject, the great deception. The great deception. This part one, part two, and part three, and all one. Y'all are talking. Deception. We are living in times, you may be seated, where they're calling wrong right and right wrong. And Pastor Abe, I think the church has gotten too involved with the political world for their agenda. I kind of way off on the Facebook because everybody preaching on Facebook and everybody got a platform on Face TikTok and I can't do like my little chair and everybody dancing on the TikTok. But that's a great deception. Be careful of who you're listening at. She's being deceived. And uh, we are living in times, deception comes in many ways. The devil is not going to come like the boogeyman. He ain't going to come looking like a demon. He ain't going to be... No. He's going to come looking very handsome. Very attractive. Very beautiful. Something that you want to really hear by your flesh. This is how he comes. He's going to say things to move not you, but what you are feeling. Told Adam and Eve, you're not going to die. Stop the boat. You're talking about a being that was standing right by the throne of God. Very intelligent. I'm not giving him glory, but God created this being. 
very seductive. On all levels, he has deceived many. Kings, presidents, queens. So you're not just talking about something that has just popped up. It's been here since the beginning of time. When he lost his place in the heavens. His agenda now is to deceive millions. Because he has witnessed heaven. He knows what's up there. He sees, he sees how God splendored throughout the universe, who God is. Came up to a point and said, I want to be, this is the danger part. I want to be like the most high. Now he's walking on some bad ground here. You want to be like the God that created you. You want to take his place. And this is how deception come. If this being, Satan, deceive one third of the heavens. What about you? Because we were made little lower than the angels. Y'all ain't talking. Trying to push in here because you can't fight this being by your might. That's right. That's right. That's right, you need something greater that's greater than you. You need the Holy Ghost. You need power. You can't defeat this being by your power. One thing I've been hearing, and we got to bring correction, you can't sell your soul to the devil. Because God said all souls belong to him. How we get in trouble, we give him legal rights. Everybody say legal rights. To your space. And once you shake his hand, you ever hear the game say, let's make a deal? It becomes a great deception. You've been duped. He comes with a portfolio. I can give you anything on the planet. Even Jesus said that Satan is the God, little g, not big g, of this world. So God himself gave him dominion in this setting. So if you want money, let's make a deal. You want more than one wife? Or more women? Oh, he got tons of them. Anything you want here, let's make a deal. But at the end of the day, the handsome face or the beautiful looking woman becomes the demon. The deception, Uh-oh. the trickery, and many people that's in the singing industry Uh-oh. has made a deal with the enemy. And I seen, you know, on TikTok, all these rappers got all the money, 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 money. <laughs> They got it. Every day I'm hearing a rapper getting shot. 
while he's eating chicken, he's, somebody's killing him. Just because of jealousy? Envy? He's got bigger name than I do, so let's get him out of here. So, Satan has said, let's make a deal. You got everything. I give you everything. Now, now I want your soul. Yes. The great deception. Yes. Let's say what Jesus said. Many shall come in my name. And he shall deceive many. Many. Let's go to the church world. Preachers have made deals with the devil himself. I need a big mega church. I'm not going to preach on sin. They can come as they are, no matter what you do. But I want the money. I want to live high on the hog. And that hog going to make you some bacon too. Y'all ain't talking. <laughs> I want the best in life because of the people. I want to drain everything they have. His motive is not to get you saved and turn your hearts to God. His motive is to be rich. And where a true man of God or a true woman of God come with truth, there's trouble in the camp. I remember I preached a revival on you. And boy, I was preaching. And they had a meeting on me. They called me and said, Doc, wait a minute, hold up, hold up. Man, you preaching too hard. And I didn't. No, you, you, you running the people. I said, what you mean, Doc? Mm -mm. You preach that. Preach a soft gospel, not a, not a hard gospel. I said a soft gospel. But let me tell you what the Bible said: for the wages of sin yeah. is death. Gift of God brings eternal. We must expose sin. That's right. Yes. Even though we were born in sin, but when you are a child of God, you are a new creature. And this is when the deceiver comes in. Man, you ain't saved. You're still thinking dirty thoughts. You still got those feelings. You ain't saved. You're still cussing. So they said, man, you, you got to lighten up. And this when you're going to make a decision. Do I preach truth? Or do I please these hypocrites? There is a difference between being religious and being a child of God. You got a whole lot of religious people. But they're not born again. Not born again. Things you used to do, you don't want to do no more. Yeah, I, I ran around. Yeah, I did all of that. But there's a difference now. Now, I'm going to pull from him. He dead and gone, but he had a great message from the RB practice what you preach. Now, if Barry White telling you that, that didn't come from St. John and St. Paul, but that came from Barry White. Practice what you preach. That means put it in drive and preach on. Y'all ain't talking. 
Now another singer came out, the man in the mirror. You're getting all these messages from the other side. Y'all ain't talking. I'm trying to hit the young people now. I ain't trying to be too old school. The man in the mirror. That means let a man examine himself. But the deception has hit the church. To the point that anything goes. And I get a lot of flack from people who say, well, how you can be a praise dancer or a praise singer and you getting drunk on Saturday and now you want to lift holy hands on Sunday? The old sense says, son, you got to come out from a month. You got to separate yourself. You, you can't judge me. Don't you get that? No, you know, I'm not judging you. The word is judging you. Word of God is judging you. I'm not, I'm not in place to judge you, but I'm telling you what the word is saying. Deception is great among us. Very subtle. You think it's truth, but it's a trick. Went to Walmart and they got a big sand. A big sign in the money center said, beware of scammers. Now, if Walmart giving you the message, <laughs> y'all ain't talking. I'm getting all these messages from the other side, but the church is blind. You got scammers in the church. Y'all ain't talking. See, you get a message from... Then I got another message. I was at the Citadel. My son is at the Citadel now. So the colonel got up and said, if you only can go through the process. Oh, that's a sermon. You telling the cadets, you got to go through a process to be a great soldier. What about the church? I'm a soldier in the... We sing it, but are you? See, you get these messages all over the place. You're trying to find the message in front of your face. The great deception in the political world is deception. In the church world, you got deception. Let me take you back, and I'm about through. Yeah. <laughs> Jim Jones. I'm way back. Jim Jones. Very charismatic preacher. Very smooth with his words. I think the devil himself possessed this man. Had thousands of people following him. Look it up. Those that don't know him. He's in the church world, in the Pentecostal world. Speaking in tongues. I'm, 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 I'm. Healing the sick, people getting saved all over the place. But his agenda was to deceive the people. And they said, he said, if you love Jim Jones, you'll sell everything you got. You will leave your home. This is how the cults work. To know that you are in a cult, they want you to forsake everything, even God himself, to follow a man. So Jim got over there on that island with all those people. And they were warning, they were telling the United States, this man crazy. 
Everybody got deaf here. Close their eye. But there was a congressman. See, God will always use somebody. Congressman, I forgot his name, but he went over there to inspect. And people, lo, a lady went to him and put a note in his hand. And he read the note. She said, Help me, I'm in trouble. The people in trouble. I can't talk. And he looked, went to other people. And they gave him a note in his hand. Deception. So he got alert. Said, I got to go back to the United States. But this devil knew what was going on. While they were loading on the plane, gunmen's hit. It's all in, you can see it right on YouTube. Destroyed this congressman. And when he saw that his time was but up, that's when you brought in the Kool-Aid. He said, now it's time to go. This this is the deception of Satan. It's no help now. You got to do this. First thing they hit was the children. Y'all ain't talking. I know this kind of graphic, but I'm trying to get you get you here the baby screaming drinking poison but the report said that he did not drink the poison see this this is the deception he killed everybody but he went the, the quick way he blew his brains out but what I'm trying to tell you great deception Be careful. Where you lying? Where you playing at? They don't have a motive. They don't have people like these people here. Love God and loving people. They want what you got. Deception. Mr. Putin. Call him Putin. Russia. Putin. Don't you come after me, Putin. Great deception. Telling. Y'all push me, I I got a nuclear bomb. Blow up the world. Let me, let me tell y'all something. God is in control. You ask the question and I'm about through. Why does God allow great deception on the planet? He always do things for his glory. Is to get the church not to run from him, but to run to him. Not to depend on a man, but depend on him. Can I get a witness? Deception comes in many levels of life. Y'all sisters looking for a husband? Be careful. Deception comes. And see, we men, we are hunters. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That look good. Everything looking good now. He promised you the whole world. And he don't own a pencil. Y'all ain't talking. He said, baby, if you marry me, I'll give you everything. Trying to help the sisters. Now be careful. Slick Willie coming. Sick. He looking. Deception comes. So you. You promised. Yeah. 
Oh, Lord. Oh, oh my heart is just, oh. I just, Mom, I just love him. Oh, my God. Perception comes. Once he know he got you. Oh, he, yeah, he, I ain't whining about her. Let's flip it over to the men. Men, be careful. <laughs> Everything looks beautiful. She can't cook grits. Y'all ain't talking. <laughs> Y'all ain't talking. She can't. All she can do is look pretty. But yeah, I'm, what's wrong, baby? I'm, I'm hungry. What's it? Better go get oodles and noodles. Deception comes. I'm glad, baby. I'm glad I married you. Pastor Abe, I know my time right up. My wife, I'm going to put her on the spot. My wife still brings me my food. And my daughter, I'm glad my, da my daughter ain't here. My daughter said, what, mama? Oh, I wouldn't go. She saw her mother did that to her father. So she saw that and it kept me. <laughs> Y'all see? Me? Certain things you can do, you can keep a man. Because what men, let me tell you, the grass ain't green on that side. A lot of homemaker. A lot of women is not a homemaker. Yes, yeah, she works, but she fixes me food. When I'm about to travel, she helping me try, you know, get the get the luggage together. Even put a little candy in there. Y'all. I gotta go. That's what keeps sometimes a man. See, yeah, see, I, I see a lot of, oh, Jesus, I get to, yeah. Like Ryan Allen said, I belong to you. It comes to the point what it takes to keep each other. Can you cook? Can you take care of home? Now, that's. See, the structure of the family has been distorted. That's right. Yeah, I'm going to walk a little bit there. We have taken man out of the picture. No matter how you don't like it, people. It's a lot of people coughing. <laughs> Pass it. Can you give him some water? The structure of the family. Right. Let me reiterate it. God, Jesus, man, woman, children. That's the structure. Now, if you take anything out of order, you gonna have you gonna have chaos. Men are the seed bearers. Y'all ain't talking. You ain't got a man, you ain't got seed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What are you trying to say? Yeah, seed bearers. We, with women without the seed, you can't have children. Y'all ain't talking. But this is the deception. 
We don't need man. Have you heard that? Those are the Jezebels. We don't need you. I know we probably get, y'all got that camera on. We don't need you, man. Yes, you do. Stop saying man is no good. Y'all ain't talking. Stop saying that all of them. See, you putting everybody in one bucket. Everybody ain't bad. Every man. They just need a little teaching. A little development. A little nurturing. Y'all ain't talking. Coaching. That's what they need. Because back in my generation, we didn't have, to a point, some didn't have a father in the family. Some didn't have a mother. So they took what they saw, what Uncle Ben was doing, just yelling and screaming. Y'all ain't talking. So now you're trying to blame the whole generation of what you're witnessing. No, 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 no. That doesn't change God's standard. That's how deception come. Well, child, I can do bad by myself. Keep on talking. You're going to do bad by yourself. It's not good for man to be alone. God set this thing up. But the more we pull out, we be deceived. The more we add to, we be deceived. Ooh, I feel a little tightness. But many shall come in my name, Christ. He shall deceive many. Look at somebody say, don't be the many. For how do you, and I'm done, stay connected to God? You got to be born again. Baptized in his name. His name is Jesus. And the ultimate receive the power of the Holy Spirit in your life. This is how you're going to be saved. From the great deception. Now, we saw just a little bit during the pandemic. Of deception. Everybody was talking, don't do it, do it. Do it. We had mixed emotions about a lot of things. But how many know it's a dangerous thing when you are moved by your emotions? God pull it in. But the great deception is here. That's why when I hear Pastor Abe preaching it, other teaching is trying to remind you don't take this thing lightly. It's real. This government is in turmoil. Every time I go to a store, no food. I think, I mean, Sister Ty met at the store. I said, Praise the Lord. And she said, ain't no food. <laughs> that was before the picnic. I was, the wife wanted some milk, so I, you know what I have to do. But no food. I said, Lord, this thing getting real here. Yes, it is. But what I'm trying to say, don't be deceived. God is not mock whatsoever a man so. He shall reap. Amen. Amen. Don't fight your enemies. I got a lot, a, a lot of haters out there. I, I go on about my business. Look at somebody say, God will fight your battle. If God be for you, who can be against you? Don't be deceived. Don't be tricked. Don't be scammed. 
If it sounds good to be true, too good to be true. It's a scam. People are like, yeah, you do. You give me a hundred, you get two thousand back. That's a scam. Y'all ain't talking. It comes with enticing words. The great deception. And one day. I said one day. Jesus himself. Will come back. For his church. Without spot. And without a wrinkle. Look at somebody say I want to be. In that number. When the saints go marching in. Look at somebody say, I got to be born again. I got to have the power of the Holy Ghost. I heard Pastor Abe always talk about the rapture. And a lot of people knock against the rapture. But one day you will be sleeping. God will take you away. Which call is the rapture. One day you may be walking your dog. And God will take you away. Which you call is the rapture. He's coming back. I gotta go. Everybody stand on your feet and say, He's coming back. He's coming back. King of kings, God of law, he's coming back as king. And he's going to pay every man according to his word. I got to go, but look at somebody say, don't be deceived. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Everybody remain standing if you would. Look at your neighbor and say, do not be deceived. I was, I was, uh, I leaned that he reminded me of something I was talking about and thinking about over the past couple of days is that it's really easy to know, to know the difference between like what's real and what's fake, right? But what's, what catches us is the counterfeit. It's really hard to catch a counterfeit hundred dollar bill. Because it looks almost exactly like the real thing. So this great deception is real, man. People sit, listen. He preached. I ain't coming behind him to preach. He preached. Let's praise God for Ella Washington. Amen. So people sitting up in churches this morning, thinking they saved, and they ain't even born again. People know, there's theologians that know the word back and forth, but they don't even have the spirit of Christ living on the inside. Bible tells us, the apostle said, we are of God. He that knoweth God hears us. And he that is not of God does, doesn't hear us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. You need the Holy Ghost on the inside to be able to understand the truth of the word of God. Amen. And so I love the fact that he went right back to the nitty gritty. You must be born again. That's where it starts. It's where it starts. The wages of sin is death. The gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And so it's, it's up to us, though, to turn. Because the, the further we move forward, the greater the deception is going to be. Listen, in spite of popular belief, it is not going to get better for this world. For the church, it's going to get better. We're in this world, but we're not of this world. You know, so our relationship with Christ and our getting closer to him and preparing for his coming, it's going to get better. But we're going to live into, in a world that's going to continue to degenerate. And I thought that was interesting he mentioned Putin because I had a dream last night, another prophetic dream. And I think it's going to happen sooner or later. And I was driving down the highway and I looked up and I saw all these nuclear missiles coming. And I could not make it to my family. And I woke up this morning thinking, like, I don't even want to go to Chicago now, but I got to go. I know God got y'all covered if I'm here or not, period, you know. 
but uh, if something were to go down. But the point I'm making is we don't know when anything's going to jump. A lot of people think, oh, the church going to be caught up and gone when all this stuff happened. We don't know that. This stuff could jump off while we're still here. And he ain't lying about them food shortages now. I've been, I've been, I've been telling people, people been looking at me cross-eyed for a good year or so. But I stay in touch with what's going on, man. And y'all think, y'all see anything with the food shortages now? I ain't trying to scare you. I'm just saying these things are going to happen. They're going to happen. But let's not be deceived, you know, because really it's the system getting set up for the Antichrist. It's, it's like the pre-system. Like it's the, it's the infrastructure work that the devil's doing behind the scenes to pull this world system together as one because what's going to happen when the church is taken out of here? You know what's going to happen? When the church is gone, those that are left behind are going to be forced to take the mark of the beast, the mark of the Antichrist. Because you ain't going to be able to eat unless you have that mark. You ain't going to be able to trade. You ain't going to be able to sell on Amazon. You ain't going to be able to do none of that stuff unless you got the mark. That's a system. And behind the scenes, it's already in place. It's a system of lawlessness, all those things. You know, we're not here to teach on that today, but it's just, just sobering up our minds from the youngest to the oldest. Don't play with your soul salvation. Well, we might think we got years before the rapture going to take place. It might happen right here now. It could happen right now. Ain't nothing stopping the rapture. Oh, well, pastor, the gospel ain't been preached all over. There's places in the world the gospel ain't been, been preached. That's the gospel of the kingdom. So when this gospel of the kingdom is preached throughout all the world, then shall the end be. The gospel of the kingdom is repent for the kingdom of heaven's at hand. When the rapture takes place, the church is called out. There's going to be an angel that flies to and fro through the earth preaching repent. For the kingdom, God's dominion is getting ready to come to earth. Repent for the kingdom of heaven's at hand. That's what they're talking about. But lo, the gospel has already gone out. The gospel of the grace of God that we preach, the death, burial, resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Listen, it's out there. Ain't nothing stopping the Lord from coming. He has a timeline. We don't know when, but my, what I would behoove you to do is what these sisters are doing this morning. They said, I want to be born again. They're getting baptized. As a matter of fact, daughters, if you don't mind, come on up. Uh, you can lead the charge because if, if there's other people in the house that is not baptized in Jesus' name, baby, I'm sorry to say, unless you're born again of water and the Spirit like Jesus said, you ain't going to make it in. That's the Bible, y'all. That's Jesus said that. So they say, you know what? We want to make it in. We want to be saved. I want to know the Lord. Amen. So let's praise God for these daughters. Amen. Coming all the way down from Columbia, man. That's what's up. From Benedict College, man. Amen. Is there another in here this morning that you want to make that decision to go down in the water in Jesus' name? I would not waste no time. It's not knocking where you're at currently. Maybe you were baptized into the titles. Maybe they said Father, Son, and Holy Ghost when they put you underwater. Hey, that's where you're at? That's all right. Come up is what Jesus is saying. And get it like the Bible said. For we are buried with him, watch this, through baptism into his death. But if you don't call his name, invoking the name of the Lord Jesus, then, then your sins are not remitted. It's biblical. So listen, if that's any of you, don't be ashamed where you're at. You can come up right now, man. We'll baptize you in Jesus' name. And they want the Holy Ghost too, right? Y'all want the Holy Ghost. Amen. And they don't want goosebumps. They don't want, they don't want a good feeling. They want the indwelling of the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues as the Spirit give utterance. And see, it's not focusing on what is going to happen when He fills you. It's just focusing on the one who fills you. When you focus on the one who wants to fill you, He will fill you with His Spirit, baby. And everything that's supposed to happen and then some is going to happen. That's why all we got to do is create an atmosphere of worship. Hallelujah. All we, we used to have Terry services, and there ain't nothing wrong with that. But you can get the Holy Ghost right here, right now, if you just focus on the Lord and quit looking at your neighbor, quit thinking about your problems. Just look at Jesus and start praising him. We could create an atmosphere where the Holy Ghost will fill us all, all over again. Baby, but I'm telling you right now, just like this man just preached. And, I'm I was, and, 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 and I leaned over to my wife. And I said, I said, like the Jim Jones and people like that, like, like we know some people know about them, some people don't. I was like, but what's the great deception now? Is that we got literally millions of people in churches across the whole world hearing this. That all you got to do is confess with your mouth and believe in your heart and you're saved. You shall be saved. Doesn't mean you saved yet. That's where it starts. You confess the Lord Jesus for with confession um, from the heart that, that repentant spirit comes.
But you can't get saved if you don't repent. You can't, you can confess all you want. Even the devils believe and tremble. So confession and belief is a belief that births a faith that's obedient to the demand and the command of Jesus Christ to be born again. And, but, but think about how many people this morning are hearing, all you got to do is confess with your mouth. All you got to do is believe. And they're going around thinking they're born again in water and spirit. And then when the rapture takes place, they're like, why am I still here? Because they're not saved. I know everybody ain't going to preach that. And I'm telling you, that's what the Bible tells us. So I can't hit that enough. I can't encourage you enough to really consider this. If you haven't been born again, it's time. It's time. It's time. Will there be one more? Will there be one more? One more? One more? That want to want to be baptized in Jesus' name? Maybe you want to say, you know what? First Fruits Community Church is the place I want to be. You want to make this your church home? I want you to come up front right now and say, you know what, Pastor? I need a pastor, and I want you, and I want this church to be my church home. Will that be you? This morning, amen, I had a feeling. Did you call me to tell me that? You didn't, okay, it was something else. I'm sorry, but I had a feeling it was gonna happen. Thank you, Jesus. Woman of God, I love you, Sister Geddes. First lady, come up. Amen, this is a great woman of God. We've known her for, I don't know, a long time. <laughs> and she's faithful, she's faithful. She's a wonderful woman of God, saved and Holy Ghost filled and fire baptized. And let's put our hands together and welcome Sister Geddes into the house. I, I don't count it, I don't count it as a light thing when somebody says, you know what, the Lord led me here to pastor this, so I can pastor you. So I, I don't count it as a light thing. And, I'm going to do my very best in Jesus' name to come alongside you and, and do whatever it is God wants me to do to help grow you to that next level. Because there's a new place. See, God, ain't, God just getting started. You know what I'm saying? He got more for you. You got gifts inside of you that are dormant. That God's about to stir that thing up and bring it to the front. And he's going to use you in a mighty way. Can we put our hands together again for this together? Father, thank you so much for bringing this woman of God here. Thank you for her family. Lord God, thank you for covering her. Thank you for, for using her for your glory, Lord, and, and for what's in store for her, Lord God. We pray over her now. Hallelujah. The protection of your blood, the protection of your spirit, and the covering of your word. Lord God, keep her. Hallelujah. Oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We're going we're gonna to ask that uh, we take our daughters next door to go ahead and get prepared for baptism. Amen. And I'm going to open up the door if there be anybody that want prayer uh, before we go next door and watch them get baptized in Jesus' name and witness the glory of God. Will there be one for prayer? You can come up right now. I want to pray for you that God would touch you and heal you, deliver you, and set you free. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Hey, my daughter, my daughter. Can we put our hands together for this precious child of God? Amen. 